guys, how you doing? This is Manga, etc. And I'm here today to bring you the review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 2. Now, I am so, so, so happy that we didn't spend a whole of the episode on Vegeta's vacation with Bulma and Trunks. I thought that's where the episode was going. And I was just like, well, at the time I was considering, should I even watch this now? I might as well watch it later. That's what the focus was going to be on. But I wanted to get my review out as soon as possible. So I just watched it and rolled it out basically. But the good thing was we didn't even we didn't spend the whole episode on this. So moving on to the review now. First thing we see is that we have King Kai. He King Kai. We have Goku and he's reached King Kai's planet. I'm not gonna talk about this for too long. All I just wanna say is that I found it really really odd that how we see King Kai and he's just driving around his planet he just seems to be enjoying that like for me personally i'd get bored after a couple of rotations but king kai is happy that's good i guess so moving on to the vacation i'm not going to spend too long talking about this eva i was going to mention the most important parts the first thing i want to say is that how i found it really bossy when bulma was trying to shake vegeta off the the top of the ship but and he just goes through all this madness, flying mad, madly, flying through different things, going underwater even. But Vegeta was just there. This is nothing. And he, it really was nothing for him for the throughout the whole time. He didn't even budge an inch, which was great to see. Really, it was I liked it. It was bossy, like I said before. So just throughout this bit of the vacation, we find out how. That Vegeta, Vegeta's gotten soft. <laughs> Vegeta's gotten soft, and he, even though he likes to admit it, he hates to. He won't admit it. Sorry, he likes spending time with his family. We find out that he agreed to go on this vacation because of um of that time when Trunks turns Super Saiyan for the first time in front of Vegeta, and then Vegeta goes to him, "If you can manage to hit me once." I owe you a promise or something like that and basically we, the promise that he had to stick to was to come and go on this vacation with the fam at the end of the vacation bit we're at this dance festival place i think it was the most important bit there was how he's just basically wondering why goku has gone off to train where in vegeta's eyes he single-handedly beat margin boot and he's just there wondering why has he gone off to train again and he's just there wondering one and he's getting he's upsetting himself about this basically before he decides that's it i've had enough and then he flies and then he flies off so the rest of the episode is spent on the So the rest of the episode is spent on Bills and Wisp. We find that that Wisp is he's gone to get food for Bills, and he just ends up on the, on this planet with this alien who has just got himself a meal, some dra some dinosaur meat, and Wisp appears out of nowhere and he's like, "I'm," so, uh, he's like, he's basically like, "I'm sorry, but I need to take this. I need to take this from you." And the alien is, he's, they basically get into an argument. The alien is like, no, I just got this meat. You're not taking this from me. And they just, they just are, they're arguing for a bit of time where, and it, got, it gets to a point where this alien thinks, you know, words are not going to work. So I'm going to fight this guy. So he powers up to fight Wisp. And during this time now, Bills has run out of patience with Wisp. He said he's not waited long enough. So he's come to where Wisp is. Bills is the one that ends up fighting this alien and the thing I want to mention as ah, the thing that I want to mention that I think is most importantly is how easily that Bills dealt with this alien. Bills was parrying all of these all of this alien's punches his punches with his with one finger and I think that's really impressive. It shows the difference in power level like Wisp has enough strength in one finger to parry in essence five fingers I think that's very important that and it needs to be pointed out but yeah Bills easily deals with this alien knocks him out cold by deflecting a fire blast from that the alien fired that that at Bills so Bills 
reflected a fire blast that was aimed at him and the alien when it was knocked out. If we then go on to find out that Bills no longer wants this dinosaur meat, so he therefore destroys this planet as well, which was deep. This alerts the king, the elder Kai. He can also he can feel that this planet has been destroyed, and he just seems to be very, very, very worried about something. And it's most likely about Bills and West because they've been destroying planets for well. This is the second planet within two episodes that they destroyed, and it seems every time that they destroy a planet, the elder Kai can feel it. Throughout the episode, Bills is trying to remember someone. He's been having this premonition and he just feels that like, there's someone that he needs to remember. Someone that he can fight fight with and, and enjoy the fight. And throughout throughout the bit with Bills and Wes, we see like this like figure of this person that he's trying to remember. And this person, like he looks like Goku. But by the end of the episode, he's saying... Oh, the person he needs to remember is Super Saiyan God. He, f- he thinks that's the person he's trying to remember. And then that's it for it. Bills and Wiss for this episode. And one more thing that I want to mention before I call it a review. Is the difference with it. Well, at the very end of the episode, we see Vegeta. And we see that he's flown home so he can train. And it's during this time where he declares... That he acknowledges that Goku is the strong, is the stronger of the two, and that he also says that one day he's going to surpass him, and not only that, he's going to surpass everyone and be the strongest in the whole universe. And yeah, the episode ends off with Vegeta declaring clearing that. And the one one thing I did want to mention is how the difference in styles of how Goku and Vegeta train. Because Goku had decided that he wants to go to King Kai's planet and train there, where it is ten times the gravity is ten times um heavier than the gravity of of Earth, and we have Vegeta on the other hand, who's got his like capsule thing and where he can up the gravity to at least we see in this episode one hundred and fifty. So to me, I started to think. Why hasn't Goku got one of these capsules there on Earth? He could easily ask Bulma or anyone in Capsule Corp to build him one of these capsules and they would do it for him. So I'm starting to think, why does Goku decide to train at only 10 times normal gravity where he has the opportunity, he could easily get the resources to train at a higher, intenser gravity? That's just something that I thought of. For this episode, I think it was better than the last episode. Not too, um, maybe too much time spent on the holiday, but the end bit saved it, I guess. So I'm gonna give it a three star rating. But like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.